Welcome to another video. So, there is a bunch of stuff that I have covered that lets you create applications like Plandex, Claude Engineer, Olima Engineer, MicroAgent, and a bunch of other stuff. But the one that I like the most is Ader. Most of you would know that because it's really very good. It's very interactive. You can see everything happening. Just give it a prompt and it can generate some cool stuff. Most of the time, when I cover something else, I always compare it to Ader. And today, I'm going to do that again. Because today, I have something new that can generate applications and do a bunch of stuff like Ader. And this time, it's Claude Dev. Now, what's Claude Dev? Well, Claude Dev is an open source VS Code extension. Although it can do a bunch of things, if I had to explain it in one word, it's basically Ader, but in your VS Code. I really like the proposition of it here. If we talk more about it, then let me tell you that Claude Dev is an agentic tool that just plugs into your VS Code. You can just open it and ask it to do anything like generate a snake game, and it will use Claude 3.5 Sonnet to generate code, put it in a file, and even run the code to give you a final running application, which is really very cool. If you have an existing code base, then it can also make changes to it. It's really very cool. It can create and edit files, analyze project source code, and execute terminal commands after you grant permission. It has multiple tools that it uses to do most of the stuff, which is also very cool. For the existing code bases, it uses the file names to understand the project structure and pick the file which may contain the code that needs to be refactored based on your prompt, which is also very great. Also, everything it does, like creating files, editing or running code, requires confirmation from the user. So, you can keep track of what's happening and if it's doing everything correctly or not. It also keeps track of the total tokens being used and the cost being incurred for the entire task loop and individual requests, which is also very cool. Anyway, now let's check it out and see if it's really good or not. Okay, so basically, we'll just need to go to VS Code. Now just search for Claude Dev and you'll find this VS Code extension. Get it installed. Once installed, you'll see it in your sidebar. Just open it. Now before we can use it, just click the settings option. Here, you'll need to set up the Anthropic API key. You can also use Open Router or AWS Bedrock if you want. So, just put it in and hit the Done button. Now, we can start using it. Let's try making a snake game. To do that, let's first create a new folder and open up the folder. Okay. Now let's ask it to create a snake game using HTML, CSS, and JS. It's doing that, and you can also see the tokens and cost over here as well. Okay, now it has generated the code and is asking to approve the code for it to move forward. You can view the code diff that it has generated over here, which is very cool. So, let's approve it. Okay, now here's the CSS file. You can again see the code diff here. It also looks good. So, let's approve it as well. Now here's the JS file. You can again see the code diff. Let's approve it as well. Okay, the files are now made. You can see all the files it made opened up here. Now it's generating the details about how to use it and the command to run it. Okay, it has now generated the instructions on how to use it and the command to run it. It's asking for permission to run the command. So, let's approve it as well. Okay, now the snake game is running. This part is really cool because none of the things I have seen actually run the code, but this is very cool. Anyway, the snake works fine, but when I get one food, it stops working. So, let's go back to Claude Dev and ask it to fix that issue. Okay, let's send the prompt over here. It's doing that now. So, 
It's asking to read the game, Jay's file. Let's approve the request over here. Okay, it's now generating the changes. So, the changes have now been generated. You can see the code diff over here. Let's approve it. Okay, it's now done. It's generating the instructions and run command again. So, now it's running. Let's see if it works or not. Okay, this time it's working fine. So, it can do some good refactoring as well, which is also very cool. Anyway, another issue I see with this is that there's no restart game option when the game ends. So, let's ask it to do that as well. Let's send the prompt over here. Okay, it wants to change the index page. So, let's approve that. Now, it wants to edit the code for the style CSS file. So, let's approve that as well. Now, it wants to edit the game.js file as well. So, let's approve this also. Okay, now it's done. And here's the run command. Let's run it. Now let's check if the restart button is added over here or not. Okay, so it's now added. This is really very cool. I mean, it's basically Ader, but inside your VS code, and it's also very interactive. You can see the exact changes in code diffs and stuff like that, which is really very, very cool. It works really fine as well, without any major issues. While we're at it, I also want to check if it can work with Next.js. So, let's make a to-do app in Next.js. Let's just create a Next.js project here and open it in VS Code. Okay, now let's open up Claude Dev. Let's ask it to make a to-do app. Okay, so it's now doing that. It again does the same stuff, where it asks for permissions and stuff. So, I just followed and approved everything it asked for, which is not what you should do, but you only live once. Anyway, at last it gave me the npm run dev command, which ran the application. If I run this, you can see it's now started. Let's head over to port 3000. Okay, here's the application. Let's add a task here. Okay, it works fine as well. Although, the text in the text box shows up in white color, which makes it unreadable. So, let's ask it to fix that. It again asked for the same things which I approved, and now let's look at it. Okay, so that thing is also now fixed. So, it's good at almost everything which I really like. Now, I think that it's really very great. I mean, what else do you want? It works very well. It's very interactive. It can do almost anything, including working with old code bases. Plus, it's very controllable because it asks for approval before doing something, which is also very cool. I would have liked it if it had Olama or other provider support, but that's not a deal breaker. One thing that's a little lacking is that it just doesn't use Git to commit or stage the changes, which means if you want to revert a change it did, then you'll either have to go to each file and undo separately. Ader does it much more effectively where it uses Git to stage the changes. And if you think that it did some error, then you can just use the undo command and undo stuff. So, that's one thing that can be added here. Anyway, this is one of the best coding agents I have seen yet. Plus, it's agentic as well. I'll keep it on par with Ader because it's really good and it can only get better from here. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comments. If you liked this video, consider donating to my channel through the super thanks option below, or if you want to have early access to my videos and some exclusive uncut videos and courses by me, then also consider taking up a membership on my channel through the join button. Also, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, bye.